Next up, Sean Jamal. He runs a healthy snacks business and is eager to expand. But will the dragons take a bite out of his half million dollar idea? Fiercely guarding their cash tonight, tech moguls Robert Herjavec and Kevin O'Leary, Jim Treliving, owner of Boston Pizza, cattle executive Jennifer Wood, and Lawrence Lewin, president of the La Senza lingerie chain. Hello, Dragons. My name is Sean Jamal, and I'm uh, from Kitchener, Ontario. My company is Goody Two Chews Foods, Inc., and the, the product is Goody Two Chews. I'm here to raise, for my second round, $500,000 for 11% equity in the company. So, uh, just so, so we're clear about this, you've already had a first round. You've, first round, you've, I've already. You raised that money? $1.5 million, yes, And sir. how long ago was that? Uh, that was in 2004. And how much have sales increased since then? Um, it took a long time to set up the factory. Do you have any sales? I have sales. We just started sales this year in January. And uh, our year end is May 31st. So we had $120,000 in sales. And in June, we did $9,000, $8,000 in uh, July. In August, we already have $6,000. 6,000? Just 6,000, that's right. We're just... What did you do, do with the first one and a half million dollars? First one and a half million dollar went to set up the factory. This product is very difficult to manufacture. There's nothing like it anywhere. Uh, every piece of equipment we brought in, we had problems with. But so how I, many pieces of uh, uh, bags did you sell of this to get 6,000? That's not very much sales. No, but we're just starting. Um, I know, and, I just started, but, but I open a business that's costing me that amount of money. Boy, I better get sales tomorrow morning. Yes. I think you're extremely lucky to have raised one and a half million dollars. I don't know why you went and got all the equipment. You start in a small kitchen area and as your sales increase, then you move to bigger and better facilities. You don't build the biggest, best facility yeah. and then this start is making different. a product let's, let's, and let me explain. Come. It's backwards. Before you say it's different, I, I seem to be on the peripheral here. I'm having a bit of a problem. I've listened now. I, I still don't know what the product is. Is it a candy? Is it a blob? Uh, yeah, it's a food it? product. It's Let's taste food, it. Food based, absolutely. Nice, yeah. it tastes like chocolate. Okay, you better hit us with your most popular flavor. Uh, right? Caramel and chocolate is the most popular flavor. Oh, it's very good. It tastes like candy, but it's healthy. Um, now, how many calories? The whole bag is 200 calories. It's gluten free, trans fat free, cholesterol free. Can you borrow it and look at the packaging? Oh, absolutely. 10 grams of protein in it, high in fiber, high in uh, iron. <laughs> That's right. Shark. Sorry, give him another back. I'll <laughs> give you yogurt. I used to sell cat food to Loblaws, so I really get this part. Okay. What when did it hit the shelf? It hasn't hit the shelf. It's going to hit the shelf now because it was sitting in the warehouse. We were getting our so UPC codes. So we actually codes. haven't had a sell through cycle of this stuff to consumers yet, right? Not yet. They're still stocking the shelf. Yes. Okay, it is absolutely impossible and I, in fact, have decided I would forbid it for anybody to invest at a $5 million valuation with you. It Why is, is that? crazy. It's, it's insane. We don't, A, know if it's going to sell through. We have no idea what the velocity is. The valuation is based on the premise that there's an existing business that we can model, which we can't yet. Where'd that money come from in the first million five? Friends and angels. Yes. How much of your own? Uh, half a million dollars. For some reason, I find this extremely bizarre. It's another candy in a package, one of many. There's been a huge investment so far with wow. limited sales. I found eating it was okay, but I'm, you know, I'm not gonna go to bed and dream about it tonight. That's because I normally dream about Kevin and what he is. <laughs> and I'm afraid for all those reasons, I'm definitely out. You've overspent in my mind. I just think you could buy other businesses with a great cash flow, it's not valued in my mind at $5 million, so therefore I'm up. The cash flow is coming. The whole world is health cautious. Yeah, we just shipped our first and so export is next order. Sunday. It's a good thing you had that kind of money to put into it, and I hope you, you save some money because I don't see it going. So because of that, I'm out. My problem is with how you spent your money. When, when I started my first business, I started it out of my house, I would go out and get sales in the morning, I would type them up in the afternoon if I was fortunate to get one, I would then bring the stuff in, package it, put stuff in, and the next day I'd put on my jeans and go deliver it so the client wouldn't know I'd be the guy who would talk to on the phone. When I started the, my last business, I had lots of money. You know what I did? 
I opened up a big office and got fancy furniture first. And my wife came along and said, why did you open up this office? And I said, because I like the view. The difference is, it's okay, because I have a lot of money in the bank. You, you want to blow my money. No, I'm not, I don't want to blow I'm money. I have uh, all the paperwork done. I have business plans. I have projections. You've Everything wasted is there. money in a bad way when the I company critically so. needed it. It's not something I'd want to be involved with. I'm out. I believe there is a demand for a product like this, but the valuation since the second you got here, my valuation radar went, warning, warning, warning. It's still saying that. So, I'm out. Why build a 12,000 square foot factory before you have Rent the orders one. to fill it? Rent one if you want. There's exactly. a thousand factories. Does he want. own it? Yeah. It could be a disco next week. It could be. <laughs> so, they really didn't like that. No, I, I guess not. Uh, maybe they didn't see um, what I see in the product. But this product has future. Once we get the marketing going, I know we'll, uh, we'll move forward with this.